Hong Kong, a centennial of change, illustrated and written by Kit Lau. What was Hong Kong like 200 years ago? Welcome to Hong Kong in the 1840s. The far side is Kowloon Peninsula, and in front of you, Hong Kong Island. Can you spot the boats? People then were mostly fishermen and farmers. Check out this little island. It's called Tang Long Chao, meaning Lantern Island in Chinese. The British later named it after a Navy officer, and it's called Kellet Island. Pay attention to the changes of this island over the years. Wow, look at the changes after about 60 years. Oh, I see single deck trams on Hong Kong Island. And this is the headquarters of Jardines, not sardines, they make sugar here. Look across the harbor in Kowloon. Can you see a clock tower there? That's Chim Sa Chui Railway Station. It is around 1925 to 1940. Wow, do you see the big changes on Hong Kong Island? Surely there are more buildings in Kowloon. Check out the first hotel of Hong Kong, Peninsula Hotel. What's happening? We were at war with the Japanese. The Japanese took over Hong Kong for three years and eight months. Many buildings were destroyed by Japanese bombing in Wan Chai and Causeway Bay. After World War II, many people moved to Hong Kong. Did you know our airport was used to be in Kowloon? Remember Kellett Island? The British no longer kept gunpowder and cannons there and turned it into a yacht club. Typhoon Wanda was one of the biggest typhoons that hit Hong Kong. We've got a new typhoon shelter for the boats near Kellett Island. The original typhoon shelter became Victoria Park. This is Hong Kong in the early 1970s. Take a look at Kellett Island. Did you notice any changes around it? We have the first cross harbor tunnel connecting Hong Kong to Causeway Bay. Hey, I remember there was a canal here, something like a river. And now there's a flyover built over it. It leads to the entrance of the cross harbor tunnel in the upper right corner. In the following 20 years, Hong Kong booms and becomes one of the four bustling cities in Asia. Did you notice the changes in the city? The Chim Sa Chui railway station was torn down and only the clock tower was left. 1997 is a year to remember as Hong Kong was returned to China. The ceremony took place in the Convention and Exhibition Center here in Wan Chai. Have you been to this shopping center? It's the landmark of Causeway Bay. Now this is how Hong Kong looks like nowadays. It is a busy city with lots of people and traffic. Did you notice the many changes that happened during these 200 years? What is Hong Kong going to be like in the next 20 to 50 years time? Well, you will probably see many more changes ahead. And do you know you're playing a very important part in it? May God bless Hong Kong and help us to make it a better home for everyone.